We have uh, accomplished quite a lot in the past two years when we met. It was just the beginning when uh, you, when we uh, when I saw you uh, two years ago. We were starting with uh, uh, only a few projects, and since then we have uh, uh, received requests from Wine Estate uh, up to 350 requests. So we have had to select out of these 350 requests uh, the best ones, and we have only selected 15 so far. So 15. yeah, 15, mm -hmm. one five. So it's been very selective. Uh, the criteria that we use is. Uh, is the main one, the first one, is uh, the quality of the wine. So this is what we call the uh, enological due diligence. Any wine funder who receives wine um, after having contributed on wine funding, he must be happy with the quality of the wine. Because it's about sharing. Wine funding is about sharing the experience. You, As a wine funder, you share the, the adventure of wine with the wine grower. And then you share the wines with your friends. So we want people to enjoy when they share the wine. This is the first criteria. Then our second criteria is uh, the story behind the wine. Uh, we are looking at uh, wine uh, growers who have a different approach, who are creative, or who try to do things uh, differently, uh, who have a nice and compelling story to tell. And this is very important because people want to be part of it. So it has to be... Uh, an interesting story and uh, we are open we try to, to be fairly open-minded in a way that um, we value uh, initiatives and innovation from uh, wine growers and we'd love to do a project in uh, unknown areas to uh, bring it to uh, the wine funders. Wine funding uh, started with equity crowdfunding. The idea was to uh, bring equity investment uh, to the wine uh, estates which are very often undercapitalized. They rely mainly on debt and they need equity. So this was the reason why we started wine funding. We've done several projects with this uh, model and we've also met a lot of uh, wine lovers who uh, wanted to uh, be part of the adventure but didn't have that much money to invest. We start uh, with a very low investment uh, depending on a project. Sometimes you can become shareholder with only 500 euros and you can become a small shareholder, but it's you still part of the adventure. And uh, you uh, you can also, in some other project, uh, invest uh, several hundred thousands of euros. So it's, it, equity is it can be small or big, depending on the type of investment. But we wanted to innovate as well. Some of the wine uh, growers came to me and uh, they wanted to uh, raise, uh, to finance, for example, uh, their, uh, the aging of their wine, because they are uh, supplying wine to um, restaurants uh, who want uh, older vintages. And the bank didn't want to lend them money to keep some wine. They, said, they told them, you must sell the wine. So we found an innovative scheme uh, whereby we finance um, the, the stock of wine. So we bring 150,000 from 30 different uh, wine funders. Each one put on average 5,000 euros. They receive 1,000 euro every year for five years and they get their invest, the interest paid in wine. So after five years, they've recouped their uh, initial investment of 5,000 euros on their bank account, every year 1,000 euro. And they receive one case of wine, which represents 10% interest in wine. This is what we call the wine bond. This is an invention, we made it a financial product it's a, it's, a, it's a real security where you actually um, uh, subscribe online, you sign uh, the subscription uh, form online, you pay online, everything is online. But it's a proper uh, uh, financial uh, security. Uh, and the difference with the, main, the normal bond is that you, you, pay, you get your uh, principal paid back in euros on your bank account, and your interest is uh, delivered to your door in the form of bottles of wine. Okay, this is another model that we use for smaller projects uh, and for smaller contributions. Uh, you would, uh, for example, uh, as, an, as a wine funder, uh, bring uh, 400 euros uh, on, on, the, on the table and you will receive 100 euros of wine 
every year for five years. So you get, at the end of five years, you get 500 euros value of wine, but you only paid 400 euros. Because you bring the cash now to the wine estate, he uses the, the money to finance his project. Uh, it can be to buy equipment, to plant a vineyard. He gets the money now, and he only he, he pays you back in wine over several years. So because you uh, offer him a cash advance, he, in return, gives you a discount on the price. So you, you pay less for what you get. We have uh, very different projects in different regions, actually. Uh, it's very interesting uh, to, for us to uh, show all the, the different uh, wine uh, regions that we have in France for now. And we are also, this would be maybe when we meet uh, in a few months, uh, we will also uh, offer investment in uh, wine estates outside of France. But already in France, there's quite a lot of things to do. We have uh, selected here a different uh, estate, uh, one in uh, Bordeaux, in Blaye, who, who is the first one here on the left uh, of the table. And it's uh, a wine that is, uh, who wants to, set it to be certified organic. So they, want to, they need to buy equipment to be able to um, spray the vineyard more efficiently to, to convert to organic uh, agriculture. And, and their wine is uh, consulted by Stéphane de Renoncourt and it's, uh, they are coming from a terroir um, of, uh, uh, in a Blaye appellation uh, and the wine is, uh, I, I, you've probably tasted it up here, uh, my, 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 yeah, my point of view is, is it's a really one that is very silky and, uh, and with a nice texture, fine texture and very fruity and this is really above the, the average of what you get in this appellation. And this is a nice approach. Then next to it, you have um, another wine estate, which is uh, in the Languedoc, on the, in uh, La Clap. La Clap is one of the five crus of Languedoc. There are only five crus in Languedoc, and La Clap is one of them. It's a pristine area uh, surrounded by water, uh, where there's no, not much diseases, and they don't need to treat uh, very much the vineyard, no, um, no pesticides much. So it's very natural, very pure, and the way he makes the wine is also very uh, pure. He uses uh, amphoras that uh, gives a special uh, texture to the wine and a lot of finesse. And many of the cuvées are bottled without sulfites. And what, what is the objective of uh, this project? Uh, ah, this project uh, of uh, Domaine Sarat Gundi in uh, uh, La Clap in Languedoc is to, to buy uh, jars uh, of uh, uh, earth uh, wear uh, jars uh, to make a uh, white cuvee. He's already... And for us. So he, he was, he's already making terracotta, uh, he's already making a red wine in terracotta and for us, but this is a little bit too porous for white wine. So he's using an earthenware uh, amphora, which is uh, cooked at higher temperature, so it's, it is less... Um, it, it, it allows less air to come into the wine. Right. It's, it, we were really talking about, about small quantities of oxygen. Uh, even in the terracotta, it's small quantities, but it's okay for the red, it's very good for the red. It gives it, it uh, some finesse and patine, but it, it, it's too much for the white. So for the white, he, he wants to buy uh, other type of amphoras, which are made of uh, earthenware. So this is the second project. Then uh, at the back, we have another project in Languedoc, uh, Mas Gabriel who makes a uh, delicious, uh, organically certified uh, wine uh, from uh, varietals from the area, Grenache, of course, uh, some uh, Carignan, including Carignan Blanc, which is not very common. Very rare, yes. Yeah. And they actually, they, are, they want to plant uh, two uh, new blocks of vineyard, one of Grenache, because they don't have enough, and one of Saint-Sau. So it's interesting to, to plant Sanso because a lot of people uh, view Sanso as a low quality wine. But it's not the case, actually. It's also bringing a lot of uh, freshness and finesse to the wine. Uh, if you uh, don't uh, um, let the, wi the vine produce too much, it can, make, it can bring a lot of freshness to the wine. This is what now a lot of consumers are looking for, especially from Languedoc, where sometimes the wine can be a little bit uh, uh, heavy and rich. Uh, it's, I think it's a great idea to, uh, that they bring uh, the plant saint -Sau. And the interesting thing about Mas Gabriel is that they are planting these vines in uh, Massal selection. 
So they are not going to plant clone, which is what everybody, most of the wine estates have been doing for the past 50 years. Uh, all the vines are identical, they are clones. In this case, they selected on, uh, uh, so on blocks of the best um, uh, grape varieties in the region, the best uh, plant. And they took this plant that they grafted and they are going to put it in the vineyard. So um, we're looking forward in three years' time to taste these new wines from Mas Gabriel. The important question then, I guess, is if, if I'm interested in investing in wine with crowdfunding, what do I need to do? As a wine funder, it's very simple. You just go online on winefunding.com, you select the project you like, when you click on the, on, the, on, the, on the project, you see a lot of details and you can really become a part of the, of the vineyard already. By, uh, we'll provide a lot of information about uh, the, the, the estate, the way they work, the, the review, the press reviews from the wine, uh, expert, um, expert uh, committee uh, a review of, of all the wines, so that you can make sure that all the wine is good quality. And you pick the one you like. Then, if you have a chance to be at a fair like today, you can also taste the wines. But we have a lot of wine funders, actually, who have uh, only uh, been online. They live in another country or they live far. And they it can be anywhere. You don't can have be anywhere. To be in, uh, in France, where we are today. No, yeah, we, we just have extra shipping costs for, for to ship abroad. Yeah. But it's, it's, uh, it's also possible, of course, to, um, to, uh, because the internet is open. So anyone can uh, go online and register on funding, yeah. choose the project they want, and they can give taste to the investment. Maxime, wine funding. Thank you very much. Thank you.